Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at the value of different digits in three digit numbers. Now before we start, the first thing we need to be familiar with are our three columns. So there's my three columns and we have our units, our tens and our hundreds. And if we place our numbers, our values into these columns, and we could even split them up like this to help separate the digits, see if that helps, we can see how much the red digit is for each of these values. So the first one is 28. And we can see that this is in the units column, so we have eight units. Or we could also say eight ones. Next on to question two. And question two is asking for 71. And again, this time the red digit is in the tens column. So what we can say here is we have seven tens, which equals 70 in total. Next on to question three. And this time we move into the hundreds column with 143. So if we look at our one, it's in the hundreds column. So we can say we have 100 or a value of 100. And finally, on to question four, we have 60. And it's quite a straightforward one, this, because the only value we have greater than zero in any of the columns is this 10 here which we can clearly see. So therefore, we have six tens, or we could say, or we normally say 60, don't we? So for example, if we went and bought six bags of 10 sweets in total, we'd have 60 sweets. Thank you very much for watching today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.